Now we've learned about the law of demand in detail. Let us now see certain exceptions to law of demand. Now when I say the word exception, what I mean is that under these circumstances, even though the price may rise, even though the price may rise, the total quantity demanded also rise. Or for that matter, even if the price falls, the total quantity demanded goes down. Now let's see how does this work, what are the reasons, what are the circumstances under which this happens. The first one is status goods. Now what are status goods? Status goods are something which are associated with the status of an individual. Now what do you mean by this? Let's say you have a high branded jewellery. Okay? Now if you have a branded jewellery which is considered as a mark of status, even though the price are high, even the price are high, the demand for them increases. So as price increases, so does demand. Why? Because if, let's say, I mean, a normal jewelry which is available at 20,000 may not be a status symbol. But if the same jewelry is available for 20 lakh, then it becomes a status good. So even though there was an increase in the price, the quantity demanded increases because now it became a symbol of status of the person. So in case of status goods, the law of demand do not hold good. Which means that even though there is a price rise, the moment it becomes a matter of status, the demand also increases. Second is different goods. As an opposite to the status goods, different goods are the goods which are normally consumed by low income group. So what happens in low income group is unfortunately they have to spend a large part of their income on food items. So whenever there is an increase in the price of these basic necessities because these are mainly the food items, the proportion of the income which the people spend to earn this also goes up. Why? Because even if you were earning 1000, you were spending let's say 40% on food, you were spending 400. But even if there is an increase in the price of this, so let's say whatever was available for 400 earlier is now available for 600, even then you will spend the 600 on them. The demand will not fall even though there is an increase in price. Why? Because these are basic necessities and are used by normally the low income groups. Third, price rise expectations. Now, people wherever they might be located, whatever they might be doing are always skeptical and you know keep on guessing what the prices will be. Let's say you have certain goods which you know you have to use in future period. Whenever there is an expectation that the price is going to rise, people tend to buy more. So what they will do is they will buy more and stock it. But the moment when they are buying more, effectively this results in an increase in the quantity demanded. 
So even though there's an increase in the price, the fact that the buyers are expecting the price rise to be more, they would buy more. This happens more in case, you know, whenever there is are these curfews. A curfew is a situation in which everything is closed. Or let's say there is something called a dry day. Dry day is a situation when no liquor is available and therefore normally what happens is that people know that if it is not available, if they have to get it from someone else, that is going to cost them a lot more. So they buy more before the dry day. This is always injurious to health, one should avoid it. But as an example, I think you can take this. Fourth is emergencies. Emergencies or curfews are one and the same thing. So the implication which I discussed here applies here as well. And the last one is demonstration effect. Now we also, we all saw that you know there are every now and then there are movies coming in. But in the movies the stars they are the best, wear the best of the costumes. Ladies wear the best of the saris, jewelries, and all. Now, the price of all these commodities is normally high. But because people want to imitate, they want to look like the stars. Even if the price increases, they tend to buy more of these commodities. Why? Because people try to imitate and buy these as a measure of showing their status. So these were the five reasons, or these were the five exceptions to the law of demand in which basically even if the price of a commodity increases, its demand also goes up.